everyone. Chief Meteorologist Matt Farrell here, counting down to one of the defining moments of 2024, and we're getting you prepared for the April 8th total solar eclipse on 6 with a series of Eclipse 101 primers. In this installment of Eclipse 101, we'll discuss what actually happens during a total solar eclipse. During a total solar eclipse, the first and most obvious thing that will happen is a darkening of the sky. This will happen gradually at first, but by the time we reach totality, the sky will take on a hue of dusk or dawn. Along with that darkening, you'll also experience what's called a 360 degree sunset. Obviously, during a normal sunset, the magnificent colors can only be observed by looking west. During a total solar eclipse, however, the sky will be darkest around the sun with the entire 360 degree horizon showing signs of sunset. Now, with the loss of incoming solar radiation, known as insulation, you'll also experience a temperature drop. Depending on the length of totality, amount of cloud cover, and other environmental factors, we could experience a temperature drop of anywhere from 1 to 8 degrees. Another effect we could experience? a cool breeze developing as the eclipse reaches totality. Another interesting thing to watch will be shadows on that day. As the moon moves in front of the sun, it will change the apparent shape of the sun. Now, if you change the shape of your light source, you'll change the shape of the shadows as well. As the sunlight filters through things like leaves, it will leave crescent shaped shadows on the ground. Now, another thing you might notice is that shadows appear more crisp and defined as ambient light becomes limited. One thing we will have to be aware of on the big day is cloud cover. While the cloud cover could hamper our viewing of the eclipse, it could also bring an entirely different experience. If the sun is blocked by clouds, we won't experience the gradual darkening of the sky. We won't experience the 360 degree sunset. Instead, we could see a situation where we go from light to near pitch darkness as totality is reached. Now, since we won't be able to see the sun as the eclipse begins, this can happen without much warning. Finally, let's talk about animal behaviors. According to our Verify team, some animals may instinctively believe that dusk has fallen and begin their nighttime rituals. During the nearly four minutes of totality, it will seem like dusk, and NASA says these changes can trick some animals into changing their behaviors. A 1932 study during an eclipse in the Northeast recorded crickets chirping, frogs croaking, and chickens looking for roosting spots. These, of course, are all normal nighttime behaviors. Researchers in Mexico saw nocturnal bats briefly during an eclipse in 1991. Dr. Rafael Alish of the University of Arkansas Little Rock says generally most domesticated animals don't panic due to the sudden darkness, though they may become stressed or confused. She suggests giving them a treat or a toy to calm their behaviors. Now, these are just some of the examples reported throughout the years. According to NASA, though, the effects of an eclipse on animal life are still not fully understood. April 8th will provide a great opportunity for researchers to continue studying how these phenomena affect the wildlife around us. There will certainly be a lot to look out for on April 8th. The sights and sounds of the total solar eclipse will be something to behold. Whatever your interest in the eclipse, we certainly hope you'll join us for this once in a lifetime event. We'll be live streaming the event on our 6 plus app starting at 1 p.m. And as the eclipse reaches totality, we'll also join you on air. Until then, you can find all of our eclipse related content on the 6 plus app, on our website KCENTV.com, and on our eclipse YouTube playlist. And of course, you can also see our Eclipse content on Texas Today and 6 News at 5, 6, and 10. We'll see you on April 8th. Until then, this is Chief Meteorologist Matt Farrell for 6 News.